Hi there, people. How are you doing? Jim's Jim's doing fine. So is the little dude in his hand. Someone told me there was a secret room down here, and there is. Secret room number 37. Which logically means I've missed 36 secret rooms. Darn. My gameplay is sloppy, isn't it? I know it is. So, um... You know, the last game had a secret room. Personally, I think it's a little bit better than this one. This one's kind of forkgettable. And, uh, supposedly this secret room is supposed to be called Totally Forked, which would be a lot funnier than secret room number 37, but I assume that's probably just another name change, and it's probably called Totally Forked in the SNES version. And if not, then whoever told me about this secret room is delusional. But I'm going to take their word for it. I'm not all about burning witches. And if I do, if I ever do burn a witch, hopefully you can forgive me. All I ask is your forgiveness. I think the music is a little bit too relaxing considering what's going on. I don't think I've ever heard music this relaxing while jumping across bacon and avoiding s straws and forks. It's a dangerous game we're playing. A game by the name of Earthworm Jim. I'm actually swaying back and forth. That's how relaxing this is. Way to go. Well, that was the secret bonus room, all one and a half minutes of it. And now, back to Earthworm Jim 2. Welcome to the most annoying level in the universe. See Jim run, run Jim run. Psycho has finally decided to stop throwing puppies into the pavement, and it is now up to us to race against him. For what? For some sort of prize. I'm sure it's at the end. I'm sure it has something to do with this game's story. I'm sure this game has a plot somewhere hidden beyond the nonsense. I just don't know what it is. But there are two things in this race that will mess you up. Letting Psycho get ahead of you at points like these, he will drop down gates and you'll have to jump over balls. And of course, the ammunition. Any ammunition you pick up, including what I'm using right now, is a detriment. What you want is the normal plasma blaster. Nothing else will do. It's, it's complicated. So I'll be incredibly surprised if I make it to the end of this with what I have. Yeah, well, that did, I didn't even do it anyway. So that's good. That's what I meant to do. Right there. Fall down. That's all part of my plan. I'm a genius. I am so cunning, I can't even keep up with my own smartitude. So just like Peter Puppy in the first game, shooting Psycho will slow him down. Although not quite as... admirably. I forgot to mention, another thing that will sometimes mess you up is that the screen will not scroll fast enough for you. You'll be like, hey, screen, I'm ready to go. And the screen will be like, hold up, buddy, I just had a big meal. You need to slow down a little bit. I'm too old for this mess. And you're, you'll say to it, probably nothing, because you're not crazy like I am. You don't talk to video games as if they're people. Just move off that train of thought immediately. Okay. If you rely on your for wow, if you rely on your forward momentum at that part, you'll fall into the pit. There's absolutely no way around it. You just have to slow your roll a little bit, Tootsie. It's not all about you. We all have feelings. We all have things we want to do with our lives. Hitting that point is imperative because if you pick up the bubble gun, you're screwed. Alright, I didn't mean to do that. I'm a little bit nervous. Probably because I just picked up some plasma. And I didn't want to do that. Because now Psycho's ahead of me. And I feel stupid. Incredibly stupid. <laughs> that was so lucky. I mean, I haven't won or anything, but it was still lucky. No, he, he got to... Okay, well, now we know what's at the end of the tunnel. It's Princess What's-Her-Name, isn't it? All right, note to self. Concentrate. Concentrate on what you wish to be true. Make it yours. Believe in the heart of the cards. Believe in the ball. And throw yourself. Thank you, Mr. T. Thank you for those words of wisdom. I hate this level. I don't know if I've made that clear but I hate this level. I'm gonna do my best to stay in front of Psycho. Because I really don't want to have to deal with his balls, man. They're huge. 
They're huge and unrelenting. They roll at me with the tenacity of a thousand balls. A thousand balls E. Damn it. Why didn't I jump? This is not going the way I want it to. But I'm not going to edit it out. I'm going to make good use of that YouTube limit of a million minutes. You will see. You will see the punishment that I have to go through. And vicariously the punishment you'll have to go through since you're watching this. I don't really hate you. It's just... It's just the way it has to be, sweetie. Some things in this world are just too darn complicated to get your grasp off. Oh, crap. Well, that pretty much messed up the entire run. Because now I've got these freaking These guys. The Barn Blasters. Barn Blasters don't even affect Psycho. He's like, what are those? I don't even care. Forget those guys. Alright. This is awful. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna drop. I'm gonna drop! Dropping's what I'm gonna... Gonna drop! There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. This is the most frustrating thing I've ever encountered in my life. Nothing has been harder than this in my entire life. Not a single thing. Not growing up. Nothing. It's all been just a precursor to this moment. Racing against Psycho. Sad thing is I've beaten this game before. It's just, it's not happening right now. There's too many things in your way, man. Like, it is incredibly evil to make ammunition your enemy in this level. Ammunition's supposed to be your friend. It is the light that shines in the darkness. It is the one true thing that you can believe in when nothing else makes sense. But no. No, people. No. That's not how it is today. Today, ammo is out for your blood. And I, I don't know if worms have any blood, so it's kind of a fruitless effort. Especially if you're the kind of person who likes fruit. Okay. I don't know why I'm not jumping there, but I should be. I think it's past this point where I'm not supposed to jump. And I did it anyway. That's just fantastic. Get up, Jim. Getting up is what you should be doing right now. There we go, just like that. Do it like that. Do it with style. Do it with spirit. We got the princess. How's that, Psycho? Let me call you a cab. Get you out of here. You've meddled in my affairs for the last time. Well done. Thank you. I tried my best. It's the one thing I tried. My best at. Well, that was Earthworm Jim 2. As usual, it took a lot longer than I was hoping it would. I'm lazy, what can I say? The greatest disadvantage to being an LPR is that you play video games. It sort of, uh, sort of works against you in the- Aw, oh, come on, again?! Why does it always have to be a cow? I don't like cows. Did you see the first game? I launched those suckers into space. Oh, Psycho was a cow too. What else is new? That's actually something I knew from the beginning. And so, our tale comes to a stunning conclusion. But did you know that I was a cow also? I just didn't want to cow tip my hand early, that's all. Ah, this is such a beautiful love story. Thank you for watching and enjoying Let's Play Earth Cow Jim 2. The second one. I got through that game like a frisbee! Oh! Um, this game was a lot shorter than I was expecting. Well, actually, I wasn't really expecting, but, I don't know, I figured the levels would take me longer to get through. I'm just too good. What can I say? I'd also like to state at this moment that, uh, I'm not gonna be making any more videos until after the holidays, probably starting in January. So until then, have yourselves a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, and a Merry New Year! Not a happy one, be merry. Not enough merry-making in this joint.